Okay. Welcome everyone. Again, my name is Bob Hahn and today I'm joined with Michael Wozniki and we're going to be talking about our new decorative rollout. Over the last couple months, we've been very, very busy here at Lumicon uh, working on in our R&D department and creating new products. Uh, obviously, uh, a lot of people have been working from home, um, you know, due to the circumstances. And what that's allowed us to do is to regroup and, and really uh, put a focus on many, many, many new products that we're going to be introducing over the next 90 days. Uh, we plan on introducing approximately between 17 and 20 new products uh, between now and sometime in the third quarter. So we're going to be really active uh, with some webinars and training and everything else, uh, you know, bringing new products to the market, improved products to the market. Um, obviously, a rolling stone gathers no moss, and so that's uh, Lumicon's motto is that we always want to continue to invent and continue to broaden our, our lineup and also to improve on what we already have. So with that in mind, uh, we want to kind of get right into it and start talking about uh, our new decorative products that we're rolling out here at Lumicon. Uh, to recap, you know, obviously most of you are aware that we're located in Southeast Michigan. We're just north of the city of Detroit. And so uh, when you think Lumicon, um, you know, we are located in Farmington Hills, Michigan, and this is where all of our manufacturing and our production and our insight sales uh, is all located uh, right in one location. We do have three buildings here in this industrial park that we utilize. And uh, so if you ever want to come visit us when that becomes kind of a thing again, uh, we would love to have you. In. So just to, to make that note. So talking about our first products, a product that many of you have already seen already uh, is our L Retro DG, which stands for Lumicon Retrofit De Decorative Globe. And that has actually become the heart of our new product line, uh, some of the new products that you're gonna see that we're rolling out today. Um, the L Retro DG kit itself fits into about 70 to 80% of existing acorns and spheres out there so if you're looking to retrofit something that already exists, this is a great application. It is built to withstand vibration, um, to, to live thermally inside of a globe, and also to, uh, to actually disperse um, the, the luminous output in a very, very uniform manner. As you can see here on the slide that you're looking at, they have a universal mounting plate. We include a 40 kV surge suppression system into it. We have a programmable driver so that uh, we can go move from 35 to 55 watts. And then we have a telescoping neck that can move up and down up to nine inches uh, to fit into almost any size type acorn and or round globe out there. Uh, and then the LED array is actually set up in a full cutoff manner. Now, once it's in the globe, it probably is no longer full cutoff, but in and itself, it, it is. And it's recognized by, by DLC as well. Uh, the picture on the right here, you also see here a seven pin receptacle that is added to the top. We've actually now are deploying probably our fifth uh, very large control operated um, uh, deployment with the L Retro DG being retrofitted in and then using someone's uh, control system uh, to uh, to put the node inside of the globe. And so the acrylic globes are very easily passed through, especially with cellular. Um, and so making this product, uh, it, you know, hiding the node, if, if you will, and then um, and creating it so they can be fully controlled through zero to 10 volt dimming. So this is at the heart of our light engine. So our first product that we're rolling out here today is our little Woodward uh, package, if you will. We actually have its own cut sheet now. Um, it, it starts off with a prismatic injection molded globe uh, that is a traditional look, traditional shape that you see out there. But what this globe does is it almost has a metallic look to it in that it gives a, a pleasing daytime uh, prismatic sparkle, if you will, much more so than a blow molded globe would do. So this is a very high-end globe. Uh, it has very specific prisms, 
and it's using grabbing the light from the L-Retro-D kit and spreading it in an extremely uniform manner. So you really reduce glare. And then during the daytime, it looks very nice. Like I said, uh, when the sun hits it, it sparkles. Um, and uh, in this one being the little Woodward, it actually is more the size of like, think little, uh, the mini Granville uh, from Hall of Fame, something along those lines. Uh, it does come with a 10 year warranty. Uh, the, it's available, the El Retro DG kit inside of it is available in 2700K, 3000K, 4000K, or 5000K. Uh, you can actually pick your CRI as well, 70, 80, or 90 CRI. Um, and then there, for the fitter itself, there's a custom color available. And we have it all packaged uh, for this, this fitter, that globe, and the El Retro DG kit for one special price. And for your agents, we'll be sending that out. But, um, you know, the, uh, uh, by being able to package this together and only offering this package, we can actually lower the cost quite a bit. It's going to be really effective for HOAs, for contractors, uh, for developments, uh, or municipalities. I mean, it works for every one of them. Uh, but but it'll be definitely in a great price range, which we'll be releasing the pricing later today. And so our agencies will be able to take a look at this package. Now, another thing we put together a package on is our large ball of fire, our big ball of fire. And uh, this fixture here is, um, is, uh, is a, a unique Euro style uh, globe. This is actually the globe from our 35 West, which we'll talk about later, but uh, it actually does not need the caging or, and doesn't need the heat sink in the middle. We're using the El Retro DG kit again uh, for this, but it's uh, a great look. Um, and especially for those, uh, those historically significant with a little bit of Euro style uniqueness, uh, it, it's going to be a really great look out there. Again, with the BH2 fitter, with the uh, with the the Lumicon globe, uh, it's prismatic injection molded. You're going to get a great low glare look with a great you know daytime look, and um, uh, it does come again with the 10 year warranty. Again, it's available in 27 all the way to 5000 K color temperature, uh, 90 to 90 to 70 CRI, and you can custom color the fitter on it. Um, Again, one special package price that you're going to find very, very aggressive. So, uh, rounding out those two products, I want to touch real quickly on the fact that you know they're both acrylic, and so what we run into quite a bit out there is these are going to be fighting up against glass, uh, typically Hall of Fame and some others that are using glass. So the one question that gets asked all the time is that well acrylic yellows and it becomes brittle. And so, um, you know, that's why we want to use glass. But rest assured, uh, today's products that you're seeing here today, our LED light engines are running very, very cool, uh, producing very little heat. And why that matters is that really acrylic only becomes yellow and brittle when it starts to reach 80 degrees C inside the globe. It really is not from the sun, it's from an HID bulb or poorly thermally managed LED system. And so once it hits 80 degrees C, it actually starts to affect the molecular structure of the acrylic. And that's what causes it to become yellow and, and brittle. Uh, so here's a good look at a brand new globe, our ring of fire versus a blow molded globe that's been out, in the, out there for a while. So because of our unique system, uh, Lexolite, who actually manufactures our globe for us, gives us a warranty against yellowing on the globe for 20 years. So there's a scale of, of yellowness on globes and at uh, day one, if it's a, if it's a number one, uh, 100 would be completely yellow, brittle, falling apart. We say that it will get no more than a seven. So on a scale of one to 100, it will be no, in 20 years, it will be no more than a seven. In fact, the dirt will probably cause it to look worse than anything else that the LED array may or may not be doing to it. So those two fixtures, we're real excited to package together for you and to release. And we do think that they're going to be high run, high, you know, uh, 
especially um, for municipal and for uh, HOA slash commercial installs. Now the next two fixtures are not on the market just quite yet, but we wanna show them to you and get your feedback on them too, as they're gonna be rolling out here in the next quarter. Um, we are coming out with a quote, uh, the, our ac architectural post top. Um, it is a dark skies compliant full cutoff fixture, which a lot of you have been asking us for. Uh, it comes in one arm or two arm uh, configurations and it's both form and function. I mean, it gives it a nice modern look while giving you a full cutoff, but also uh, it's available in a type two, type three, type four, and type five. So you can design to your heart's content, um, whether you're replacing something existing or whether you're designing a whole new you know, layout. Uh, you can pretty much uh, are able to replicate whatever is out there. The wattages go all the way up to uh, 100 and some watts uh, at the top end so that uh, I believe 160 watts is where we're at the top end on that. So you're talking about 20,000 plus lumens uh, on the very top end or down all the way to 30 watts on the very low end if you're doing just pathway lighting. So um, again, you have your pick of 2,700 to 5,000 K or anywhere in between. You have your pick of CRIs. Uh, you also have um, you, your pick of distributions. Uh, it, it does come standard in black. Um, we can do custom colors on it for an upcharge. And also too, to make sure you guys know this is controls ready as well. So on the very top of the fixture is for a seven pin receptacle to go for either just a photocell and or a controls node. So again, let your regional sales managers know what you think of that. Um, and again, it is something we're pushing forward and we should be out in the next quarter with that product. Another product that we're coming out with as well is a, uh, a carriage post op. Um, it's going to come in two different styles, one with no lens so that we can actually be dark skies compliant and one with a polycarbonate lens to give you that nice warm lantern glow uh, at night. So it's reminiscent of an early American style. You see a lot of these in the New England area, but also you know, up and down the East Coast in various parts of the United States. Uh, so this is a full fixture. Uh, we will also have a retrofit kit to go with this to be able to retrofit existing carriage lamps as well. And we're working on that to be DLC as well. So long story short is that uh, this one also has a controllability here on the top. I wanted to show you this picture here so that you could add a node for controls and or you could use it for uh, a photo cell uh, or have you. And all it is is just removing this little um, chimney effect right there to place that in. This is fully casted. This is not spun aluminum. This is full aluminum cast. It's very durable, very solid, and uh, we're pretty excited about it. Again, uh, let your regional sales managers know what you think about it. Um, and again, it's, it's going to be available in all the different K temps, CRIs. Uh, we'll also be utilizing our Detroit series light engines in it, so you can do type three, type four, type five. Um, no lens or lens, black would be standard. We can do custom colors and controls ready. Also the 10 year warranty and our 40 KV surge suppression unit as well. Now we're gonna jump into something that is available now uh, so that we just rolled out and we have them available. Um, and that is our a whole selection of bollards. So this bollard here happens to be our, our, our uh, arco, architectural post top bollard, which goes with the uh, architectural post top that we showed you earlier. So there's a matching piece to it so that you can do bollards and you can do the post tops. Um, it does replace about a 70 watt HID. Uh, the, the actual, all of our bollards are extruded aluminum housings with a flush mounting base. Um, they have a, this, in this case, it's a sand cast twin arm head and a sealed driver compartment, which we also will have a 40 kV surge suppression system in there as well, just like all other Lumicon products. So we're pretty excited about this guy because it lends to you the kind of dark skies, full cutoff look, 
uh, and it matches the APT that we're coming out with in a bit. But this one is available now um, if you're looking for it. It, uh, it does come black standard. Um, it is available in 2700 to 5000K, round or square. And uh, again, the 10 year warranty, we can do custom colors. Uh, and also to note, you can add a GFI box to it, a 120 volt GFI box. And also it, microwave sensors are available too. So that uh, for either on off, dim to high, um, sensing of pedestrians walking by. So it's, it's pretty well outfitted. Uh, this is already on our website. The cut sheet is on the website. Following behind that, this is also available now, uh, is our spider mount uh, bollards to give you a little bit different look, still kind of your full cutoff look, but give you a little bit more unique look. Um, this also comes in a 10 year warranty, round or square. Uh, this one's available in four or 5,000 K. We haven't developed the other boards yet for it. It is standard in black, but also comes in dark bronze. Um, we can do custom colors. 40 kV surge suppression, GFI, and OX sensors are available. So uh, again, uh, we're excited about this one to give you a little bit of architectural flair. Following behind that, uh, another one that's now available and on our website is a full cutoff, uh, um, uh, an actual full cutoff bollard so that uh, you're not getting a ton of light dispersed around. It usually is just limited to around the bollard itself comes in round or square. Um, the lumen output is, is, uh, is probably closer to a 50 watt uh, type ball. The, um, it's available in different heights, either 30 or 40 inch. Uh, and again, GFI and microwave sensors are available. And also too, if you look at the cut sheet, there is a glare shield available on there too. So if you wanna cut it from being 360 degrees, you can cut it down to 180 so that you can block the light from going one way, which is a nice attribute for light trespass. Uh, we have the round, these are more familiar probably with what you've seen in the past. We, we still have these, um, they're the round domed top. Uh, they come in um, with a glass refractor in the middle of it, which would give you a, more of an HID look. It's still LED, but it's gonna give you the, uh, an HID look. Then there is the more modern uh, cone in the side, the cone reflector that's bouncing the LEDs, or you can go to the louvers. Um, so that would be the bollard uh, round dome top louvered uh, model to, to give you basically um, mostly just down light. Again, these come in and without, not the louvers, but the glass reflector and the cone reflector coming in a type three or five so that you can, again, limit the light trespass. These are available in three, four, and 5,000 K, dark bronze or black. Um, you can do 30 inch, 36 inch, or 42 inch heights available. 40 kV surge suppression, GFI, and microwave ox sensors are available. Now, if you don't want the domed top, and just to, to note here, this is a specific preference, but um, a lot of people do like the dome top because it prevents people from maybe sitting on them. Uh, but if they don't like that look, you can get a flat top. And this is exactly the same setup as the other one, just a different uh, top. And you know, instead of being domed, it is flat across the top. So um, and then again, uh, these are all the same uh, dark bronze and black that are available. Uh, the one of the best looking ones that we have, probably the most expensive as well, though, too, is the stainless steel. Uh, so those come in with the cone reflector and or the louvers uh, in those two types in a type three or five. Um, but it is a stainless steel, uh, it, it, the very, very nice look, and they stand up very well when rugged in the uh, in the environment. Um, available in 30, 36, 42 inch heights, 40 kb surge. GFIs are available to go on the side as, as well as microwave ox sensors. So that is the lineup of the bollards that we're rolling out today. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, applications out these for new and for retrofitting. So if you're retrofitting where there's current bollards now that maybe they've seen better days, um, a lot of times people ask us, you know, hey, uh, how do we mount these to that? Well, we've come up with a good solution, we think, and that is our new Luma base. And basically what the Luma base does is it works with all of our bollards 
and it is a multifaceted plate that actually can line up to a current bolt hole pattern that's out already in the cement and then lays down into it and then you actually then run the anchor bolts for our pattern up through the other holes and so that you can actually mount to a current bolt hole pattern and then you can uh, mount our baller to it. So this is very universal. Uh, it's on all of the cut sheets. You can select it and, um, and be able to uh, currently utilize the anchor bolts that are already out there and then still use ours as well. So we think this is a real game changer um, that, uh, um, you know, for sure it's a game changer as far as being able to replicate what's out there. Michael, you got a question? Yep, just got a question in, came in from David. He asked if the microwave sensor can be set to lower light level instead of turn off. For sure. In fact, um, there is a programmer that is available to come with any of the installations. Uh, it's, I believe, $25 for the remote programmer. And you can set the microwave sensor to be dim to high. You can set it, again, it's a zero to 10 volt driver. So if you wanna set it at the high end is obviously 10 volts, that would be full brightness. And then you can select uh, one volt, half a volt, quarter of a volt, all the way up you know, to five volts, anywhere in between to be your dim setting uh, so that they don't actually all turn all the way off. So um, I know that can be annoying if they're turning on and off like a Michael Jackson, Billy Jean video, but uh, they, I think that um, most settings uh, that come out of the factory, we have on the cut sheet for you to select. Um, we tell you what the factory default is. And if you don't select anything different than that, then that's what you'll get. Um, otherwise, you tell us how you want it set. And we can program them here at the factory. And we suggest that maybe they purchase along with it, uh, the programmer, so that maybe if they don't like what they see out, out there in the field, it's only 25, 30 bucks for the programmer and they can then program them to their heart's content. So okay. the- I We just, have another question coming in from Nick. Okay. And Nick is asking, how are the GFIs mounted on the bollards? Excellent question. So uh, on the side of the bollard, there is a cutout. In fact, if you go to some of the cut sheets, you can see it in the options area, but it is a cutout gasketed electrical box, GFI box that is then mounted to the side of the bollard. And then it is a, a full weatherproof box with the, um, with the, uh, the sealed gasketed plug covers. So that, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's mounted directly to the side of the bollard. So I hope that answers that question. And again, there is some photos on the uh, on the um, uh, the cut sheets showing the GFI on the side of the fixture. And if those aren't good enough, let us know, and we'll take some more pictures and add them to the cut sheets and get them out to you. So, um, so that wraps up the bollard part of our conversation. Uh, you know, with the Luma base. And again, you can go to the cut sheets, and the Luma base is an option. So that if you feel like you're going to need those for all of the, you know, for every one of the mollards, then um, you'll be able to, uh, um, you know, order those along with it. I do want to take two seconds here to, to remind everybody out there that, you know, Lumicon does retrofit kits and that we've got a great R&D department um, that, you know, along with introducing new products all the time, these guys are taking in current fixtures that just don't have a great LED solution for them. And when you send them in to us, uh, we do require a $500 purchase order. Uh, and then we will create one sample, install instructions um, to exactly the uh, dimensions, you know, that, that we're that were laid forth for us. And if we, you know, we will do thermal testing and we will give it a 10 year warranty. We'll send the sample back to you for you to be able to test in the field. If everything goes according to plan, then we don't need anything back. You just order the rest of the uh, kits from us at that time, and we would price them out accordingly, uh, usually based on volume and, and some other things. But um, just want to remind you that this is a full-blown program that we have. Uh, our guys right now are full with retrofit kits, and we continue to ask you to send more and more in. It's amazing what we see all the time, even though there's off the shelf corn cobs and everything else that are available. 
either our L Retro DG kit or our customized kit that we can create for you, it really just outshines anything that you can do with that. I mean, we're actually making a kit that's made for the fixture and, uh, and, and using the thermal dissipation of the fixture and the optics and everything else that we can incorporate. So just a reminder on that. Um, also, another reminder is that uh, if you don't want one of the prepackaged uh, programs that we showed at the early onset of this uh, webinar, we still have your design your own decorative fixture. And so uh, we do have available the L Retro DG kit. You just select which wattage you want, what K temp you want. Um, then you would pick a globe. On the left hand side, you can see we have a big Woodward globe and a little Woodward globe, which are injection molded uh, prismatic globes. On the right hand side, uh, one of them circled is the uh, blow molded globes, which are less expensive, but very, very common out there. So uh, we do sell just globes too, if you're interested in that. But um, if you want to build up your own fixture, um, then you can select from any of the above. The prismatic injection molded ones are the ones that come with a 20 year warranty against yellowing. The blow molded ones do not have a warranty against yellowing. Uh, the manufacturer of those is not, is not participating in that program. So, uh, but we don't anticipate them to yellow nearly as fast as with HID or anything else, but they're, they are less ro robust than the prismatic injection molded fixtures. So, you pick a globe, uh, then you can move over to pick a fitter uh, and maybe a finial if you like, and create your own a la carte um, fixture. The prepackaged ones that we showed you at the beginning are gonna be more cost effective because we're stocking them in a greater numbers. Uh, but if you have a, someone that wants a different look, we can go a la carte. It won't be terribly more uh, in price, but it'll be slightly more uh, just because we don't have it all in volume like we do the other stuff. And then to recap three products that, we, that we've had for a long time and that are doing extremely well. Um, I've got a quick question here on that, Bob. Before we win the next one, regarding the kit, Dapper Dave is asking if we are adding a button eye photocell to that cut sheet. Oh, um, excellent uh, question. So if you're designing your own um, or the uh, the prepackaged ones, you can get a, a button eye photocell. The prepackaged ones have a fitter. So the, this, the button eye photocell is where we put the, um, is where we're actually putting the button eye photocell. So as long as it has a fitter, you can, you can do an option of a button eye photocell. So in the a la carte section, if you don't select a fitter, then you can't get a photocell. Um, but in the pre-packaged section, it comes with a fitter at the package price. So yes, you can get a photo cell. So um, does that answer that question? Probably too much. Now, I wanna talk real quickly about our uh, ring of fire technology. Um, remembering that uh, we do have a 35 West, a ring of fire and our ball of fire, which all incorporate a ring that goes around the middle with the LED array on the inside of the ring, dissipating the heat to the exterior of the fixture. And what that allows us to do is push way harder than 55 watts um, out of a, out of a uh, globe because really we're not trapping any heat inside and we don't have to worry nearly as much about the thermal management. And also it gives us probably even a little bit better optic as well. So there's the 35 West, just a reminder, that's a full cage uh, circular globe, which is uh, the same globe as the big ball of fire, except for it comes into halves and, and clamshells onto the heat sink. We do have still the ring of fire, uh, but we've added a new option and that is a finless ring of fire. And so that we're actually able to drop the fins off the tool of our ring and now have it be a very nice smooth look. How we're able to do that is on the 84 watts and down, we're able to dissipate the heat uh, very well without the fin area. The only time we need the fins is when we get above 110 watts-ish. Uh, but again, um, the new fin list has become extremely popular and uh, has really become you know, one of our biggest selling options. 
And again, you know, get it in a type three or a type five, 20 year, year uh, warranty against yellowing um, between 27 and 114 watts, 40 kV surge. Uh, and you can get any K temp you'd like, 2,700 to 5,000 K. And then the same with the ball of fire, we actually were able to eliminate the fins on that too. So you can still get the fin version and you can get a non fin version uh, and that that ring and capital can be painted any color you want. So like a lot of people have been choosing like say white because it blends in more with the sphere um, and that gives it a great look as well. So uh, those are still our stalwart uh, product that, that we sell every single day. Um, and you know, you can mix and match with different fitters, uh, colors, uh, color temperatures, uh, again, the 20 year warranty, 40 kV surge suppression uh, are all included. So kind of wrapping up here, um, you know, the, the decorative section for Lumicon is really expanding. We do believe that in the next few quarters and beyond that municipalities are really going to be paying a lot of attention to infrastructure. Um, I think that is where if there's any stimulus money, uh, that's where it's going to be targeted towards to upgrade to become more energy efficient across the country, uh, whether you're, in, like I said, an HOA, a commercial property and or um, a municipality, there's gonna be a real drive to continue this upgrading and, and reducing energy. Um, there's even a lot of our El Retro DG kit is probably replacing just as many other LED solutions that maybe were early adopters or they chose something that wasn't really that superior and so we're replacing those with the El Retro DG kits because they're made to be actually be in a decorative fixture. And so, um, so wrapping up that just, uh, I want to reemphasize that here at Lumicon, you know, we are American made. We're using tier one componentry across the board, wh whether it be our LEDs, our drivers, our connectors, photocells, ox sensors, surge protection, controls. We're using all of our tier one um, suppliers for all that type of stuff. Uh, the reason why is again, you can get a 60 cent LED or you can get a 0.6 cent LED out there today. And many of you uh, have seen area fixtures and everything else that are way down in price. Well, they're using a 6.6 .6 cent LED when we're using a 60 cent LED. So you get what you pay for uh, over time and, uh, and, and quality. Um, again, all the products that you saw here today are 10 year performance warranty to L70, meaning you put it up one day, if you get a 10 foot candle reading in nine and a half years, if it's anything less than um, seven foot candles, then that is warranty. So just to, to give you an idea that uh, we stand behind what we manufacture and we have proof in the pudding on that because we've had fixtures that have been running over 10 years continuously for 24 hours, seven days a week that we've retested and to prove out that we have not dropped more than 30%. And while the rest of industry is usually in about 10 kV surge suppression in most of their product, Lumicon continues to put 40 kV surge suppression in every single one of our products to mitigate dirty power, irregular power, um, any kind of spikes, lightning that's out there to try to help save and keep your LED product running and in good shape uh, for its entire lifespan. So remember the Lumicon support system. We offer webinars like you're watching today. We do every educational seminars as well. If you go to our website, you'll see that we have tons of videos now that we did over the quarantine area that uh, talk a lot about how an LED is made, um, you know, how controls work, uh, how uh, optics work. Uh, there's a lot of how-tos in there that really are not specific to the product, but really educational. So if you uh, are new to lighting and or if you just want to brush up on, on technology, go to the, our website under videos and you'll see that there's a lot of uh, new videos hanging out there that, that are very educational. Um, we can offer on-site assistance when when moving around the country is a little bit more acceptable. And, and then also photometry too, which we don't need to move around. We can do Google Earth, Bing Maps, and the like. So at this time, um, I'd like to field any further questions that maybe any of you have, but that is the a revamp uh, and uh, rollout of our 
our new decorative offerings. Any questions out there? Okay, well, don't see any coming in. So I think, uh, again, go to our website. All the cut sheets are on the website. For our agencies that are on the line, you will be receiving a new price list uh, outlining all of these. And uh, so expect that to be coming from one of your regional sales managers. Other than that, thank you very much, everyone. Hope everyone's staying safe out there uh, and have a, have a great and wonderful rest of your day.